uh, uh, my first comic was probably Turok, Son of Stone, when I was like yeah. four years old. Uh -huh. uh, and then I didn't read another comic book for about 12 years. And then my girlfriend knew that I was into Conan the Barbarian, and she got me a Savage Sword of Conan comic, uh, which I thought was kind of weird, you know, because I like the books and everything. Right. I'm a snob about it. But then I opened it up like somebody put a lot of work into this thing, and I got hooked. And then I started reading Secret Wars, and that was it. Nice. Yeah, this was back when it was coming out. Gotcha. So, so, you went from Conan, how did you end up, uh, you know, where you are now, basically? Uh... Well, it's uh, it's been a long road. I moved up to New York uh, in 1992, and started uh, interning at Valiant Comics back then. And uh, got hired on, then Valiant imploded, and then I got a job over at Broadway Comics. And then Broadway went out of business. And then I got a job at Crusade Comics, and then that kind of petered out. But by then, I finally met enough people that I got a job at DC Comics, and I, I edited there for a, a few years. And then I got hired away to, to write at CrossGen. Uh, so now I'm living in Tampa. Uh, CrossGen went out of business on me. I feel like I'm a company killer, but I'm still in the business. Actually, you're living in Tampa. Yeah. We're actually uh, from the same area. Right on. So that is that is wicked awesome. Um, so aside from Rebels, Birds of Prey, Countdown, what else have you had your hand in? Um, well, let's see. Uh, we, uh, I have a new series coming out in October that we haven't announced yet. Uh, I'll wait for them to say what it is. Actually. Rebels is, is my main thing right now, and it's going really well. Uh, we've got a lot of good buzz, especially in the offices, which is always nice. Um, I, uh, I wrote Exiles for a while at Marvel. I wrote uh, uh, a series called Negation and one called Route 666 over at CrossGen. And, and those might have been my, my best uh, creative uh, experiences. Uh, CrossGen was a great one. So what would you say makes a great comic story? You know, it, it could be any of uh, a lot of things. Uh, I'd say the, the thing that I always noticed was when you're reading a book, you can tell when somebody's just cashing a check or when they've really got their heart into it. And, and that's the thing. You know, sometimes you get really invested and you feel the sense of creative ownership. And that's what makes all the difference. Like working on Countdown was a great experience because we got to do all the different uh, characters and it was very high profile. But I'm having more fun doing Rebels because I feel like I own them. Gotcha. Uh, did you read Final Crisis? Uh, I did, yes. And I need to go back and read it How again. How amazing was that? Yeah. Let's, let's be honest with ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I want to read the whole thing all together, though. Yeah. It got really good at the end when Doug Nick started drawing it, though. Gotcha. Up until then, it was, yeah. He's sitting right over there. Shameless right? plug, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Shameless. Oh, that was really nice. We're coming for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tony. Thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate right it. Right on. You, sir, are a little bit Oh, please. Sure.